Oh, what is going on, everybody? <laughs> Hello! It is Pixel Butters here, and oh, welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. It is fun, and when we left off, <laughs> she was fun. <laughs> she is pretty. <laughs> so, uh, we were going with all the whole Angel Sushby thing, because it turns out that uh, Mr. Master Jeff Chef uh, can't taste <laughs> salt. That's what, you, that's what you call him now. Yeah, so he can't taste salt, but they managed to get this awesome recipe called the angels recipe that is apparently the cure for the disease that allows you to not taste salt ironically enough even though he wasn't even aware of the fact that he actually had it he was like i thought maybe so but i wasn't sure until this very moment in time <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder, uh, if, I wonder if that's what changes his hair color no as people are talking about in the comments it's mostly just the fact that you know because in real life stress will cause white hair uh, it's just a fact of putting through that von karma's questioning was so intensive that his hair turned white because of all the stress it put him through jesus because von karma's an evil evil man but now we're gonna find von out karma's hair is silver and, and francisco's hair is silver is because they stress themselves out too much i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> he just runs in the family they're just born stressed <laughs> yeah <laughs> as we're no <laughs> The Angel's Recipe. But it's like a darker gray, so it's not quite as stressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the Angel's Recipe contains the formula for the drug. Yes, it's a recipe book for new drugs that haven't been released to the public yet. If sold to a pharmaceutical company, I'm sure it would fetch a substantial price. Hmm, that actually gives a very interesting uh, reason for What's-Her-Face to want to enter this contest. If oh, she was trying to be a pharmacist. Delicia. Yeah. Anyways, why is something like that a prize in the contest? I just realized. Yes? Bad talks like Solid Snake. Why is something like that in the contest? <laughs> I mean, only the fact that Solid Snake he is just, continuously he, speaking in questions. Yeah, he, uh, he just, he doesn't <laughs> question things enough. That's, uh, he doesn't repeat things. It's like, no. what's your master or the only heir to the chairman of the master group? Master group. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all he needs. Yeah. Chairman of the master group. <laughs> well, <an> yes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Master group? Like Pokemon masters? No. <laughs> oh, Christ. That name sounds familiar. <laughs> They're a pharmaceutical company who deal in a wide range of products. Uh, they've become big news recently with the release of Cold Killer X. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I often use a cold killer products. But I've never once seen you with a cold. Uh, but, That's because um, he kills it. <laughs> X. For quick. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to hear more about right, the master group. <laughs> Dude, you have to give someone in the future a solid snake voice now. I'm surprised I'll you try, haven't yet. That gets too close to like... Uh, that gets too close to like Godot area voices. Not really? It can. Really? Did Mr. Master not want to follow in his parents' footsteps? Monsieur Master wanted to bring joy to people with his desserts. His parents also wanted him to become a great pastry chef and supported him. When his parents died, the recipe book was left to him and his inher as his inheritance. Why would he give away a memento of his parents as a prize in the contest? There are always people who are after it. Something which troubled Monsieur Master. But just giving away his memento would have been disrespectful to his parents. So he decided to pass it over to someone he acknowledged. And the members of the master group approved of that? Information about new drugs being passed on to outsiders? Of course they <clears throat> objected. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> That's why Delicia participated in the contest. On the, uh, on the order of the master group, she was requested to win the championship. Uh, you knew Delicia's true identity from the start? Yes, in order for her to win, I told her most your master's tastes and preferences. Why did you help her? I helped her in order to protect most your master and the master group. If the drug recipes were given to another company, he would be reprimanded by the board. I wanted to return the recipes to the company in a way that most your master would accept. So it was due to Miss Hall's help that Delicia was able to reach the finals. That makes sense. Speaking of which, Mr. Dover wasn't a pastry chef either. He sure did well to make it to the finals considering he's just a sculptor. Yes, for him to be able to make such fine desserts despite being a sculptor. 
From the Sherbert sculptures he made for the finals, it's clear to see that he has great talent, but... Could he really have made that by himself? Mm, that is all I know. Is there anything else I can do to help? To save Mr. Master, she's Man, trying really to help as much mood. as she can. <laughs> the yeah. suspense theme and then the da da da. We would perhaps have <laughs> some more of that tea from yesterday, please, Miss Hall. I'm sure that would help us get on with the investigation. Yeah, I'd like some of KC too! Alright, understood. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, she's gone. <laughs> His <laughs> face changed yeah. so quickly. Kate looks a bit better now. Investigation complete! Yay! Hooray! Oh, the tactics! <laughs> We've gathered information about all the contestants. And yet we still haven't heard Gustavia's side of the story. Yeah. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? That was, it was because... Oh yeah, that's right. He cut him off. Son of Sir Remus, you ought not to give it out a ton of the tiniest tent of information. <laughs> what exactly was he doing in Mr. Dover's room? Mm -hmm. And moreover, something is odd about his semi-final entry. A pastry chef bad at design and a sculptor skilled only at designing. It would have been extremely difficult for either of them to win the contest alone. Could it be that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's connection is... Detective Bad, you have reason to suspect the actions of Dane Gustavia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's imperative that we find a... <laughs> just yeah before. <laughs> <laughs> it's imperative that we find a way to contact him at once. Uh... I don't know who that is. I don't know either. Mm. Uh, and this conversation was I had a interesting. I had a feeling it was him. He the, He's the only one that talks like that. Yeah. However, I cannot allow you to speak with Mr. Gustavia. Von Karma. I've already conducted my interrogation of him. It is not necessary for him to speak any further, especially to a mere defense attorney. <laughs> but I will answer your questions in that fool's place. It seems Von Karma intends to prevent me from meeting Gustavi in person. Dude, that's so weird that this music that plays normally when Edgeworth <laughs> is around is playing when he shows up. <laughs> yeah, I understand. In that case, I'll have a one thing to ask you. Uh yes. I would like to know the relationship between Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover. Ooh. Oh boy. Their connection. There's gonna be a lot of talking from you now. <laughs> Gustavi and Dover's relationship. It's obvious the only relationship they had was that they happened to participate in the same contest. Oh, okay, That's never a real mind. quick one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. What? How are we supposed to understand anything from so little? If we want Von Kermit to divulge the truth, we have no choice but to present evidence. It's all too obvious that he's hiding something. Ever since I started doing Ray's voice, I can't picture him with your voice anymore. I know, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I've like, just gotten so used to... Alright, the mm -hmm. only thing that happened was they presented the same contest. Yeah, and they made the same fucking semi-final dessert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's oh, that's total coincidence. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like you to look at these desserts. The desserts were made for the contest semi-finals. Don't you think these two have a particularly impressive design? Hmm. <laughs> Just what are you getting at? These two desserts were made by Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover. Little do you know that exactly the design <laughs> on one of the cakes will fuck you over in the future. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call Mr. Gustavi's design skills praiseworthy. Get it? Because it's a phoenix. <laughs> and yet for the semifinals, he was able to produce something comparable to Mr. Dover's. Furthermore, the two desserts have the exact same flavor. What are you trying to say? <sighs> Fix a tie. I'm saying it's possible they collaborated with each other on their entries. Prosecutor Von Karma, please take a closer look at their desserts. They did a collab! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. At first glance, they may look completely different. Which reminds me, though, I need to work on mine. <laughs> <laughs> but even though the designs are different, it's clear they're made from the same materials. Is that so? The same flavor and composition. It's impossible to dismiss their, simil their similarity as coincidence. They also both have mythical creatures on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The very existence of these two desserts points to a link between Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover. <laughs> Since you already know this much, 
I'll tell you the truth. Uh, what? Did eh? Arkoma know about their collaboration? However, what I'm about to say is not going to help your case at all. Okay. We'll see about that. I was going to say, we'll see. I'll see if there's any truth still to what you say. If you want to know about Gustavian Dover's connection so badly, I'll tell you. Last night, when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about his connection with Dover. Until the day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. Uh, okay. You knew about their cooperation all this time, didn't you? Why would you conceal the truth? Because he's Von Karma. Yeah. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't sully my reputation. Until I explain my points and caught to avoid giving away unnecessary details. That's not unnecessary. I was merely saving you time. How can he act like this and keep the truth from us? This concealment of the truth is something I cannot, something I simply cannot ignore. Hmm. Let's see. Go on, I was having a nervous connection. I'm so badly, I'll tell you. Last night when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about his connection with Dover. And about that. Yeah. Last night. That was after Mr. Dover's sculptures had melted, right? Yes. Afterwards, I went to interrogate Gustavia personally. I interrogated by Von Karma? Ugh, sounds scary. Knowing Mr. Gustavia, I feel like he probably he's he probably tried to meditate through the interrogation. <laughs> The moment he closed his eyes, I snapped my fingers like so to show him that no one remained silent in front of me. Jesus. And did that have any effect? <laughs> because of that, I was able to get a perfect confession about his connection with Dover. And then until the day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. Hmm. <laughs> Why do you think Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover collaborated? Why? Because Gustavi had poor design sense, and Dover was a novice at baking. But without the help of each other, they would have never have made it through the single round. If so, what was their mutual goal? Why cooperate until the finals? The finals will be fought on our own merits, Gustavi has said, and he ended their collaboration. Gustavia's goal was to obtain the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. As we surprised as the pastry chef won out in the end. Victory in the finals would certainly have been hollow had he cheated. So he believes that their cooperation only went as far as the semifinals. But what if it really continued through the finals? Prosecutor Von Karma, could you explain their cooperation in a little more detail? <laughs> Very well. Stavi had poor design sense and Dover was a novice at baking. Hmm. Okay. I'm going for a little bit of orange cream soda, quick. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Dover had a, like, hmm. Yeah, because it's true. Dover was novice to baking because he was the sculptor. Yeah. And Gustavio was baking, but I guess he can't design anything to his name. So it, it, uh, in a way, when you say it like that, it's like, sure, it makes sense for them to work together, but why would they work together? Yeah. Like, I was going through a thing where I was thinking of the fact that, like, pretty much everyone in this case so far kind of has a motive for mur for murder in some sense mm. because we have Delicia who being the pharmacist that is being obligated to be like you need to get this thing if there's anyone that would be a threat you know not to say she was a murderer because I don't think she is technically no. it would be inspiration for her to be like hey that's good stuff ah, he's out of the contest yeah. <laughs> um, Gustavia because he's being very sneaky with everything with his wanting of trying to beat Dover. Yeah. And when it comes to uh, Kate, in my opinion, if she was to do anything, it would be for Jeff's sake, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. It would be one of those where she probably... He's like a dad to her, remember? Yeah, and I was thinking that maybe she knows that like, just because of the fact that he can't taste salt, she would do anything to keep it for him. Yeah. So she doesn't want anyone to actually take it away because she wants to use it to help him instead of it going to if, some profit or anything. Because if Delicia want it, then she could be like, hey, hook us up. Yeah. And so he can still, you know, get it. Yeah. And then I had thought number three recently. What? Or I guess, not thought number four. New thought. Okay. What if 
I don't know what happened though to make things break down, but what if Gustavia, Dover, and Delicia all are working for the Master family to get that prescription? Or get the prescription, the, the, the recipe for the drug. That they're all working together. I don't know what would happen that would result in Dover, but because why would Gustavia and Dover work together? That's the big thing. They have to have a same goal in mind. But that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I'm probably That dumb, makes no sense. What are you talking about? I don't know, man. Um, You're just reaching now. <laughs> yes, it's what I do. Um, you know what? You're not wrong. You do a lot of reaching in this series. <laughs> That's what I do. And sometimes I'm right. Sometimes I'm wrong. In this whole wrong. franchise, you reach. And sometimes it pulls off. Yeah. Other times, it just makes people ask, why? <laughs> why? Why would you do that? Why would you... Okay, so let me press this one. Concerning your statement about Mr. Gustavia's designs, I have no objections to that. I have no objections either. He's got no sense of style. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw him attempting to fashion my likeness with candy. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about it disgusts me. You sure it wasn't accurate? <laughs> I actually like this candy crafting, though. <laughs> a novice pastry chef and one with no sense of design. It's only natural such pathetic specimens would associate with each other. Damn. Wow. Okay. Operation lasted only through the semifinals. For the finals, they're on their own. Hmm. Let me see what the loop. Mr. Master said Mr. Dover was the favorite to win the, at the finals. Which means he must have still been cooperating with Mr. Gustavi at the time, right? Yes, that is what I believe. I must have evidence that proves that they still cooperated during the finals. So I've got to look for that. That's what I was figuring, but I wanted to... Uh, okay, so... This is the one that we unlocked, so this is what I want to see. Is there anything that shows that they work together? Hmm. Um... No, that's just the before and after. Yeah. So... Okay, we have their. That's not gonna be the seven found desserts again. Uh, that's a, that's the fake desserts from Delicia's room. Yeah. Wouldn't be that the victim's blood. I don't think it would be that. Delicia's testimony. Uh, liar part was salty. The rock salt lamp. No. Crime scene notes. I don't think there's anything that. It's ironic anything how it's rock there. salt. <laughs> hmm. Jeff's teapot was made by Pierre, okay, but that doesn't involve Gustavia. No. Um, frame finger marks that no fingerprints are found on belonging to. What are we even P. presenting this to? Uh, um, of why they're working, of why they didn't work in the finals. But it's semi-finals. It could also be on there. It's just because you unlocked this one over here, but I don't know well, if we you, had to do over here. What? No, the cooperation lasted only through the semifinals. We have to prove that it went on to the finals, though. Oh. He's saying it stopped there. We have to prove what we have that says that it went on through the finals. But I don't see anything that directly ties them in the finals, except for maybe trying to get the recipe Because in book. the finals... In the finals, Dover was killed. Yeah, but we don't... We, the, the, so. There's something that we have to prove that they worked together in the finals on their stuff. Mm. That's what we have that we have to prove. The recipe book. Well, it's not, it doesn't go there. Look no. at this piece of evidence. That's irrelevant to what we're talking about now. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Such a boring interruption. Defense attorney. Mm. He's laughing at me. Let's see. I, Listen, Mr. Master said Mr. Dover was the favorite one in the finals. Using Mr. Cooperating with Mr. Gustavia. Yes, that is what I believe. I must have evidence that proves that they still cooperated during the finals. Uh. So that's what we have. We must have something that proves that they worked together through the finals. But I have no idea what this is. Because, like, be Gustavia that had that. poor design sense. Because we know those were, those were Dover's final ones. Yeah. But what were... Do we even know what Gustavia's were? I don't even think we walked in his room. No, we didn't. Wait, what about the fingerprints? 
It says someone left fingerprints on the chocolate frame. No fingerprints are found. <sighs> I know people are how screaming do we, at how us. How do but we know <laughs> if they work together? That's what we apparently have that we have to prove. Huh. Am I going to have to pull out the walkthrough? But wait. Hold on. Wait a what? second. Lay it on me. Are you sure we're trying to prove that they lasted through the finals? Yes. That's what they said. Because it would be easier to try and say that they didn't because you know how um, Homeboy's a sculptor? But then this wouldn't be a contradiction. The point is we have to prove the contradiction in a statement. He's saying they didn't work in the finals and they said directly that we believe they worked together in the finals and we have to have evidence that proves it. We have to prove that they were together in the finals. That's what the game literally told us. <laughs> oh, wait. The yes? testimony. Yeah. His sherbet was the most delicious, but the liar part was salty. Because he made that part. You smart. Good job <laughs> on you. I would have never thought about that. I was just like... The liar part was salty because Gustavia didn't make the sherbet for it. Mmm. You know? I hear you. I hear you. You say that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover did not collaborate during the finals? That's strange. Hmm. I was gonna say it would it would prove that they didn't because the liar was salty, but I forgot the rest was good. But that yeah. proves why they did. <laughs> Delisa testified that Dover's sherbet was most delicious. Hey, we don't need no walkthrough. <laughs> we made it this far. We ain't bringing one up there anytime you go. soon. <laughs> you can fill in the gaps in my brain. <laughs> Being a novice That's chef, I doubt, he could have, I doubt he could have done all that by himself. Perhaps the two of them cooperated during the finals as well. Defense attorney, how many times have I have to tell you? They say Scone's subjective opinion cannot be admitted as evidence. There's still a chance that a novice chef could make something tasty. My wife is an amateur, but I love her pot roast. <laughs> Yet a cooking rival is not of world-class chefs. <laughs> how was that not a subjective opinion? Sounds like you don't want to sleep on the couch. <laughs> Moreover, even if you take the pharmacist's testimony to be true, it changes nothing. She also mentioned that a part of the sherbet was very salty. Which means you can hardly call this entry for the finals perfect. Nah. I love that smirk he does. Yeah. He's just like, well, okay. <laughs> because a defense attorney never loses his smile. Never stops smiling. You paraphrased the hell out of that. I don't remember the whole thing, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> It was like when, uh, when, it, it, when it's when the things get, you know, the the darkest is when they have to uh, force their biggest smiles. Yeah. Put no more objections. Is there no way I can prove their collaboration? I know, I know that's not the exact quote, but you guys know what we mean. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you know. To it. be fair, I think that between Mia and Godot and Phoenix later on, they all did their own versions yeah, of the same they did. thing. So there's three different... I remember there's three versions of that quote because they all have their own different ones. Yeah, they do. So, anyways, here's Ray. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something that's been bugging me. Huh? What is it? The desserts Mr. Dover made for the finals would have taken a long time to make, right? Indeed. They were frozen sculptures after all. How would he have had the time to sculpt it after it was frozen? Let alone help Mr. Gustavi with his design as well. Mm-hmm. The way I see it, just waiting for the sherbet to freeze would have used up all of his time. Hmm, just how was he able to make those sherbet sculptures? Raymond, you may have a promising future after all. <gasps> Thanks, you have noticed one more <laughs> possibility. <laughs> 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 That's right. Mr. Dover's sherbet needed time to freeze properly and the contest time limit would not have been enough. The method Mr. Dover used to make his sherbet with the time limit was... It was prepared in advance. Or they weren't desserts at all. It was prepared in advance. <laughs> they weren't desserts. <laughs> if the sherbet was prepared in advance, they need all, all you need to do is sculpt it. Yeah. You just, what are you mumbling about? How ugly you Please look. Please excuse me. I've finally realized. How ugly you look. <laughs> Your <laughs> earlier view was correct. Huh? M Mr. Edgeworth? What are you doing? 
Po. So you're finally admitting defeat. We didn't say that. No. All I am admitting to is the truth of one of your statements. Dover and Gustavia's collaboration lasted only until the day before the finals. And exactly as you said, they only cooperated until the day before the finals. It's the day before that's the important yeah. part. Yeah. Mm hmm. The sculpture in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would be most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. Dumb. I want some now. Mm -hmm. Sherbet's so good, dude. It's all. Awesome. I haven't had some in a while. It's so good. That's right, so you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Especially if it's like raspberry? Oh, <laughs> raspberries. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? The view's the dead of no concern to me. Wow. If you aren't going to answer that, I'll need to get in touch with Mr. Gustavia himself. Or was your interrogation not quite as thorough as you claim? Uh. You ingrate. You dare mock me. Yes. That was not my intention, but I do have a problem with your attitude. Oh, I, I want to give you a clear reason why we cannot speak to Mr. Gustavia in person. <laughs> a clear reason? Gustavia and Dover's collaboration was no bearing in this case. You claim their collaboration was irrelevant. If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour, it could serve as a motive for murder. You're saying that Gustavia and Dover's collaboration was linked to the motive for the murder? If that were the case, why did he not conceal it? After all, we found out about the collaboration from Gustavia himself. Hmm. If you were a lawyer, show us evidence that gives us reason to suspect Gustavia. Hmm. Only one of Mr. Gustavia's actions has been suspicious so far. Doubtless Von Kammer already knows of this fact. This could be a trap by Von Karma. Yep. <laughs> What's wrong, defense attorney? Not going to answer? But I mustn't back down now. Mr. Gustavia sneaked into Mr. Dover's room. His reasons for this are currently unclear. But the very fact he secretly... Oh, excuse me. The fact he secretly entered the victim's room is reason enough to suspect him. <laughs> if that's the extent of it, I can dispel those doubts. Yep. I knew it. Was that a trap after all? I was intending to save this for the courtroom, but I'll make a special exception. We wouldn't want to prolong the trial with unnecessary information, would we? Take a look at this. What's that? Oh, it's cute! Huh. This is... This is a photo of Gustavia and Dover. And their sons. Interesting. Oh. Gustavia entered Dover's room in order to steal this photo. To steal the photo? It seems the sons attended the same elementary school. They're adorable. Apparently thought that he'd be suspected if people found out he and Dover were acquainted. Yes. Just like you're doing now. <laughs> There's nothing suspicious about Gustavia's actions. No further room for argument. No. Oh. He did the same noise that the, the Edgeworth does. Yeah. He's still adamant not letting us meet with Mr. Gustavia. I have an investigation to return to. I have no more time to waste on the likes of you. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Curse that Von Karma, calling us a waste of time? What should we do, Mr. Edgeworth? At this rate, Master Jeff will be... Von Karma is... busy? Of course. Why would he be so busy? Both the body and murder weapon have been found, and he already has the suspect. The police should have more than enough evidence to prove Mr. Master's guilt. If that's the case, then why is Von Karma still investigating the crime scene? Mr. Edgeworth? Is there something wrong? It seems I've been overlooking a matter of vital importance. Considering that he already has the evidence he needs to evict Mr. Master, I feel the Von Karma isn't as composed as he should be. He didn't even tell Detective Bad the full results of the mm. investigation. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> yeah. Von Karma's a bit on edge at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Oh. Uh... Logic! I forgot logic is a thing. We haven't used that in so long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Furthermore, something vanished from the crime scene, and we still don't know why. Another flashback. <laughs> that bad please look at the crime scene. Carefully once more. 
The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. Oh. <sighs> I definitely didn't give him about the place to be cleaned up. <laughs> but the strangest thing we found wasn't in Mr. Master's room at all. It's a match. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. Hmm. Mr. Dover's blood vanished from Mr. Master's room and somehow found its way into the fountain. What does this mean? Hmm. I mean, now that I've thought about it, my opinion would be is that since liquids drain out of the other rooms, is that someone put the piece of chocolate with blood inside of Dover's room so that when it all melted, the chocolate and blood would melt as well and get washed away. Hmm. So that actually puts another implication on Gustavia because he could have gone in the room to hide the blood with taking the blood stained chocolate because he knew that if it got pulled, it would melt. But why bother hiding a blood stain if the body is there? <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. That makes no sense. I'm going to put the blood in the water fountain with the blood stain having disappeared. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But then wouldn't they find chocolate in the water too? They're not looking for they're looking for blood. When the victim's blood wasn't found in Mr. Master's room. It was detected in the water fountain. The water fountain. <laughs> There'd be no need for the killer to conceal the blood stains after the body was found. The water fountain or the water fountain? <laughs> <laughs> it's unnatural that only the blood stains were found with the body when the body dis with like, the body disappeared. Like, like the poison gas. <laughs> Unless the body was moved, the blood would still have remained on the chocolate. You and your weird emphasis. <laughs> Don't tell me. Someone removed the body and then erased the blood stains? Yeah, see, it was like just leaving the body would make no sense. <laughs> and then I guess we'll put these together with the no autopsy report, and then the, was the body removed, and we'll connect those two. <laughs> oh, it's sitting in front of our faces, and you're going to make everybody wait? Exactly. I the love answer it. is no. right <laughs> in front of our face, and we're going to make them wait 23 and a half hours. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That oh, sounded very yeah. ominous. We make them wait that long. Oh, yeah. I like your way, pal. Oh, yeah. Uh, Detective Bat, are you okay? <laughs> oh, no. You're kind of scaring me. <laughs> That's what I do. Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> I'm going to let him be. <laughs> 